So in our last video, we visited Elbow Key in the Abaco region of the Bahamas, uh, specifically the uh, little harbor town of Hopetown, where they have the iconic lighthouse. We went up into the lighthouse and toured that. We walked around and saw the scenic seaside community area there. And we did a little bit of a tour of neighboring resorts and the waterfront area. In today's video, in true island time fashion, we're gonna head up to a bunch of different beach bars on the island. We are going to uh, rent a golf cart for the day and do some exploring. Then we're gonna head off to also to Great Guana Key and visit a couple of beach bars over there. So this is kind of our tour day beach bar Abacos. Have you ever dreamed of selling it all and cruising into the sunset? Well, that's exactly what we did. It's no fun going it alone though, so why don't you join us for the ride? So we've been on a mooring ball in uh, Hopetown Harbor and Elbow Key in the Abacos for the better part of a week and the rain starting to clear the rain and winds so time to get out and do some exploring and we decided to take a walk over to on the beach uh, bar and grill it's only about a mile away so a good 20 minute walk and we needed the exercise not only am i a captain but i'm captain obvious to state that it is literally on the beach Beautiful location with great breezes and a great array of cocktails. Definitely a must stop spot. If I remember correctly, this was the Saturday before Easter and there was an organized event that the restaurant was putting on where uh, a bunch of teams in decorated golf carts were going all around the island for a scavenger hunt that ended up at the bar restaurant. It looks like it was a blast. My guess is that this was mostly local people that knew about this or uh, folks that visit for an entire season. So the next day being Easter, uh, we and uh, our friends didn't really have any plans. So we decided to take a boat ride over to Great, Great Guana Key, which is probably about a two hour uh, slow boat ride there and visit uh, a couple of beachside bars for the day. I mean, what else do you do on Easter Sunday? So these bar restaurants are pretty well known in the Abacos. Uh, we anchored near one called Grabbers in the little cove there. And then it's a short walk over to Nippers, which is on the ocean side. And we, of course, had to visit both of them. And truth be told, they were both packed by the end of the day, so we weren't the only ones with the idea. So Grabbers is located on the Sea of Abaco side, so it's pretty calm in most winds and is a great place to anchor. And there are at least uh, a dozen or two boats out there when we arrived. You can pull your dinghy right ashore and uh, the restaurant bar is just adjacent to that. There's a pool, uh, there's usually live music there. If not, they're playing DJ music. It's a pretty hopping environment, uh, and it also has some great food and service. Uh, plenty of places to sit in the shade or in the sunshine.
So that was a little bit about grabbers. Uh, the other place is called Nippers, and it's about maybe a 10 to 15 minute walk uh, along a nice little scenic road. Uh, you really can't get lost. Uh, on the way, there's an enterprising individual with a golf cart who will be happy uh, to take you there for tips, but we decided to walk. really not that difficult to find nippers uh, you walk down the road and you take a left at the dive shop and then you just follow the signs it's really pretty easy um, you're not gonna get lost and there's a lot of people doing the same thing kind of nice at one point they had an easter egg hunt in the sand and seaweed for the kids and they had an adult easter egg hunt in the water for uh i guess they buried or sunk some eggs in there with prizes pretty cool great seating and service there and we had an excellent lunch it's not always fun in games though because the next day was maintenance monday so one part of boat maintenance is about every two weeks we have to defrost this refrigerator you can see how the ice is like caked on uh, you're not supposed to use a blow dryer you're supposed to let it defrost but that would take probably hours and um, not good for all the food so in about 10 minutes with a blow dryer you just be careful not to burn the plastic sides you hit the blow dryer here the thing starts to drip throw some towels in there and you're done in about 10 minutes so it's a little bit of a pain but something we got to do it's not frost free no luxuries there because I guess frost free uses a lot of power to constantly defrost and frost and this is on a boat so you want to save as much battery power to run off of a battery as possible I set some towels up got the blow dryer going just kind of get it going So eventually big chunks will start to fall off. That's what you want. Throw them in the sink. Easy peasy. This is the finished product what it should look like. After the defrost. Enough of that maintenance. Uh, so we decided to rent a golf cart and explore the island. Our first stop was the Abaco Inn, which is situated between the uh, Sea of Abaco and the ocean. Uh, it's got ocean views and uh, bay views. It's absolutely beautiful, kind of a coastal vibe. 
very accommodated, very high service. They have rooms there as well, um, but they treated us just like we were staying there. They had plenty of cozy little social spaces for guests. It would be easy to hang out here for an afternoon or for days. This view is the Bayside, uh, overlooking the water sports area and outside dining. So while at the Abaco Inn, we got hit with some uh, showers from this lingering frontal system but we still had a pretty good time and um, you could see that uh, there are plenty of outdoor spaces and a uh, pretty nice pool area overlooking the ocean for a better day. Thankfully the weather cleared pretty quick so we took a jaunt further down the island to Tahiti Beach. And I guess this nearby marina was destroyed in the last hurricane and it's presently being rebuilt and close to opening. Thankfully, the weather cleared pretty quick, so we took a jaunt further down the island to Tahiti Beach. Tahiti is a magnificent little beach, very scenic, scenic area near an inlet, and it's very popular with boaters uh, on a beautiful day. Pancake was happy to get a long needed run. Typically there's a converted houseboat selling food here and many boats anchored, but not much today due to the unsettled weather. And our last stop as we returned back to Hopetown was at the Firefly Inn and Restaurant. grounds are really well manicured and you can see there's a number of villas and you step down to then the restaurant overlooking the Sea of Abaco. There's a small connected day dock for uh, folks coming over for lunch or dinner but you could also anchor out and we saw a number of people doing that and spend the night in a well protected area. We had an amazing lunch and some refreshing cocktails and the view, unbelievable. Thank you for watching our video. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe so you'll get notifications when our new videos come out.